You ready? On their 10th day in office, Governor Arnold Palacios and Lieutenant Governor David Apatang publicly addressing the island's deficit left behind by former Governor Ralph Torres' administration. I have not seen in all my years the, the, the level of misappropriation, misuse, and abuse of, of public funds in, in the history of the Commonwealth. The governor says the exact figure in the hundreds of millions is a moving target and a fiscal response team under his office and a working group at the legislature will have a clearer picture in a matter of weeks. But what is clear, the island is in a financial disaster with its federal and local funds. He says everything is on the table to cut costs. There's no way around that. We will be working with the legislature to revise the 2023 budget to reflect the balance resources that we have going forward. Palacios says they've sent the transition reports outlining the financial damage to the public auditor and attorney general's office, but his team is laying the foundation to soften the blow. Number one, conduct an ARPA reconciliation of expenditures. Um, we need time to collect and validate the data that was used to calculate this $86 million deficit. The second part involves identifying disaster-related expenditures ready for reimbursements. They've reprioritized all staff and resources to work on those two goals. But it's not the first time those working when Torres was in office sounded the alarm. Whenever there are any deviations, I would immediately call the Department of Finance, the Office of the Secretary, to remind them that there are terms and conditions of ARPA that we must follow. What was the response? Um, the response was, there was no response at all. Palacios says he'll hold everyone involved accountable as more information comes to light. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.